this bill will put several billion dollars um, into these funds to make sure that they, they meet their obligations. And then the companies begin to put these dollars back in in an affordable way that they can do over the next 30 years. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong. I'm amazed by how many members of the Senate don't really understand what collective bargaining is about. Collective bargaining is you sit down at the table, uh, management and labor, usually with respect one for the other, not always, but usually. And this company clearly wouldn't have lasted this long if they didn't have that kind of relationship. Uh, both sides give, and in the end, um, they come up with a collective bargain agreement about wages, about health care, about pensions. And this is a company that now for, I guess, four generations has done it right. And these are unions that have represented their members the way that, the, the way that they are supposed to. We know that every job matters, every business matters, every pension matters, and, and they've done it right here. Whether, so we'll continue this fight for good paying union manufacturing jobs in Ohio. Uh, we'll continue this fight where workers are at the center of our economic policy. We have a president that, that talks about workers and puts workers at the center of that policy. How specifically does the legislation support these pension funds? What does it do? It, it simply invests in these pensions. So for the next 30 years, these pensions are guaranteed and they will be honored. It's not, it's not a bailout like the banks got. It's not a, even a bailout or an investment like GM and other auto companies got. It was honoring a promise that our country makes with, through the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation and at the bargaining table that our country makes and our workers. About how much is this costing or how much money is the bill putting into these pension funds? Uh, this, this bill will put several billion dollars um, into these funds to make sure that they, they meet their obligations and then the companies begin to put these <laughs> companies begin to put these dollars back in in, a, in an affordable way that they can do over the next 30 years. Without your pension, you work for the rest of your life. With your pension, you could at least have your quality of life, you have a good pain, and you have some kind of security, knowing that when you turn a certain age, if it's that time to retire, you have that there. It's, it's very good knowing that in the next, you know, 15, 20 years, whenever you decide to retire, you know, after you have that security blanket there, you could say, hey, you know what, I've done enough it's time for my body to, you know, just relax a little bit and go and do what I got to do. Spend time with your grandkids, spend time with your family, um, just enjoy life. I knew there were 100,000 Ohio families who had paid into these pensions for, for decades and were afraid that they were going to get cut 30 or 40 percent or worse and that some businesses might go out of business that simply couldn't deal with the 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 the, the burden of these pension of, of their their pension payments so um, it was one of the best days of my career if not the best because i realized that those hundred thousand families and all the companies they work with were going to be able to to respect their their workplace dignity and those companies would stay in business hiring other generations of workers business journal Daily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.